Hi, I'm Mark Rand, Senior Application Scientist at AMG. Today we're going to look at cell counting with the EVOS XL microscope. I'll just grab our cells. And we'll head over to the microscope and do some cell counting. Okay, we have our cells. I'll put them on the microscope. And we'll move over to the upper right well there. Um, we're all set to start. I'm using the EVOS XL microscope. This is an all-in-one microscope that has a built-in computer and operating system software to do cell counting after you capture images. Uh, it has a built-in camera and a display. It doesn't use oculars. It's very comfortable to use. I'll just sit here, focus on my cells, capture the, the image, and switch over to cell counting and show you how that works. Okay, to start, I'm just going to take my mouse and go down to this light button, turn on the light, focus, and maybe increase the brightness here by using this slider. That looks good. When I find a nice field of cells, I can click Capture, and now that I've captured the image, I can do my cell counting. Uh, to do that, I'm going to go over to the toolbar here. Turning on the toolbar opens up this little box, and there's a count tool that I can expand. And inside that count tool, I've got up to six different categories that I can create and keep track of. And for this particular setting, I've got type 1 and type 2 cells predefined. If I want to create any other types, I can click in the text box here and type those in with a virtual keyboard, um, such as going in here and, say, creating pyknotic cells. There we go say accept and now I've got that category created. Once I have my categories defined I can select one and then I'm free to click on a cell and it's going to put down what we call a tag on the cell. So these are my type 1, these are rounded cells. Um, I'm going to click and put these tags down on the cells. I can switch over to type 2's. These will be the flatter type cells here. And for pyknotic cells, we can pick, um, say, this cell here looks like it may be dying. So this is how you go in and manually create uh, your cell counts. Um, it's a lot easier than going in and using a clicker with an eyepiece. Uh, you can actually save this information in the file and see exactly what was counted. Um, there are a number of uh, nice little uh, things you can do with this. Uh, for one thing, if I need to zoom in, I can just click this button here that says Hide Tags, and now double-clicking is going to zoom an area, and then I turn the tags back on, and I can see them and continue uh, counting my, my different cell types here, my type 1 cells. Uh, another thing that's handy is to turn on a grid. So this option that says Show Grid, I can turn this on, I can change the size of the grid, and uh, make it uh, smaller or larger count a certain number of cells within each grid and know how many cells I have per unit area, which is very handy if I need to extrapolate information about how many cells I may have in this well, or get an idea of the density of the cells in the plate. So I, I know that I have a certain number of cells per unit area and that would correspond to um, confluency or uh, sparse cell population or something in between. So um, this is uh, a uh, fairly simple, straightforward tool, works very nicely, has options such as saving the image with the toolbar. If we turn this on and we save this image, we're going to get not only the grid and the uh, tags that we've put down here, but it's also going to embed this information inside of this count rectangle. That is, the different categories that I have created here, the raw numbers, the percentages, and the total, all of that is going to be saved with the image file. And uh, to show you an example, I'll click on the Save button here. And then we'll go to Image Review. And this is that image. And you can see that we've got all that information in here. I can zoom in like this. Here's my tagged cells in the grid. And up here, we've got the information about the counts. So it's all in a single file. I can look at it later and decode exactly uh, what the categories were and what was counted. And um, track it very nicely. And that's basically the, the cell counting tool. Uh, it's a, a very nice feature for the microscope. It works 
uh, equally well with our EVOS FL fluorescence microscope. And um, with that microscope, people are often counting fluorescence overlays with transmitted light so that they can look at, say, GFP expression uh, in a subpopulation of cells. Uh, with this tool, it's very easy to go in and count all of the cells that are expressing versus the ones that aren't and get a nice estimation of transfection efficiency. Uh, without fluorescence, you can do this basic kind of transmitted light cell counting function. And uh, that's it. That's our cell counting tool, and uh, hope you enjoy using it. And uh, we'll talk again another time. Take care. Bye-bye.